Okay, everybody. Welcome to this video. Get that away. Okay, listen. Alright. This is, um... I'm, I have not scripted for this video. This is gone straight off the top of my head. So if I forget something, maybe I'll add it in the next video game thing. I don't know. So anyway, this is my story of video games for my entire life. Up until August 6th, uh, whatever, 21st, 2017. And, um, fun fact, there's actually supposed to be a solar eclipse today, so... I might get blinded, yay. Well, if I'm stupid enough to look at the sun. <sighs> well, anyway, um, I'm, I don't know when my exact video game thing started. I don't know which one was my first console. But, what I know, it was either the Wii, the PlayStation 2, or the Atari 2600, yeah. Because I remember I'm um, playing the Atari 2600 when I was younger, you know. I was in this room. Well, you may have noticed that in my older videos, um, my main room was a different room. Because that was my old room. I used to have a, I used to share a room with my brother. This is my old childhood room, which I now live in, well, sleep in now. Um, I moved out of it I was a l because I was a little kid and I was scared of that closet right there. It's literally right behind the camera. And yeah. So yeah, I was a little girl, and I got scared of the closet, so um, I moved out. And now I'm back in, because I'm not a little girl anymore. Alright, listen. Basically, um, yeah, I remember playing the Atari 2600 in this room. And then, um, I think the PlayStation 2 came first in my life, before the Wii. It was um, in that room over there, I think um, we call it the playroom. We used to have a TV in there. My brother used to play his Xbox there, but... Basically, um... Yeah, we would play games, um, I couldn't find any of the games, um, except for this one right here. Scooby-Doo Unmasked, I don't even know if, if the disc, the disc is still in, oh well. And I remember, um, something about, um, the, what is this called, the PSP, I think that's what it's called, I don't know. I remember something about this in my childhood, I remember, um, there's a certain game on the PSP that I really enjoyed, it was, um, called Spider-Man Friend or Foe. I actually really enjoyed that game, and I enjoyed it so much that I actually got it for the Wii, too, when I actually have it. So anyway, um, next in line we had, like, the Wii. You know, the Wii was a big part of my childhood, the biggest, probably, of all. And, um, the Wii, um, I got it as a Christmas present, um, along with a couple of games. I think it was, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, there's a certain one game on the PlayStation 2 that, um, really got me into these certain kind of games. Um, it was Lego Batman. I really enjoyed the Lego games. Hold on, let me just fix the camera. My camera sucks. I really enjoyed, um, the Lego games. I started getting a lot of Lego games, and I really enjoy them. Still to this day. Now, anyway, um, off to the Wii part. Um, I got the Wii on a Christmas day. I don't remember which one. And with a few games, um, I think I only remember two for sure. Um, one was, um, Donkey Kong... Congo bl Blast? I don't know, something about bongos. That would, I can't get that one to work anymore. And the other one was New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That one was probably one of the biggest video games of my childhood so far. I mean, it was amazing. And, well, I got really mad. Me and my brother, um, we used to play it. And um, for some reason it just broke and we couldn't play it anymore. And we weren't even at like the first castle. And um, eventually um, my Uncle Rob, um, he fixed it up, I think. Somehow, maybe you just bought a new one and just abandoned the old one, I don't know. And, yeah, we got to continue, and it hasn't broke since this day. And, now, um, here's a little, um, side story. I actually thought, um, you know Larry, um, the first Koopaling you fight in that game? I actually, for real, I thought he was Princess Peach when I first saw him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I, I for real thought he was. Alright, but anyway, um... There were a lot of games for the Wii that I really enjoyed from my childhood. Um, if I can remember some, like, uh, a couple certain ones, then maybe, um... Well, I mean, I guess I could. Well, I mean, I did make a gameplay video about it. It was, um, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but I can't really play that anymore because all my, um, Wii nunchucks broke, so that sucks. And there was also a Mario Party, that was a good one. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, I hate that one, but it was a big part of my childhood, I love that game. And, I'm looking over there where my Wii games are, looking at it, but, nah, I don't see any more. If I remember one along the way, I'll probably remind everybody. But, um, next line, um, we probably have the DS. 
Now, I got the DS um, with a couple games included. I, I got the original DS. Stop slamping over camera. Um, I got the original DS or something. I don't know. I think it was a DS XL. I don't know. And um, I remember I came in with Super Mario, um, New Super Mario Bros. DS. That was a good one. And um, I remember I used to play that one a lot. It was a really good one. There's this, I remember there was this kid at a place I used to go. Um, he used to help me out with all the star coins. I don't remember his name, but I remember he had a green DS. Man, if you're watching this, you were the best for helping me out, even though I forgot every single thing you told me. I don't even remember your face. Anyway, um, yeah, you know. Eventually, um, probably one of the stupidest things happened. Well, I mean, I really loved Pokemon back then. I really used to play it a lot. And, um, I had a lot of anger issues back then. I still kind of do, but not as much, because I got, li did, like, these little, um, therapy classes. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I remember when I was playing Pokemon, whenever I was fighting a gym leader that I just lost, I remember going like, and just throwing the DS on the ground. It sucked, you know? And, um, I remember, um, the touchscreen broke, so I couldn't do this certain thing in the Pokemon game, which made me extra mad. And then there came, there came this one day. Just this one day. You know, me and my brother, you know, we had both DS's, we had two DS's, um, we only have one copy of the new Super Mario Bros. New DS. And, um, when you were playing on um, multiplayer... I think it was on the snow map. He kept beating me, and I got so mad that I literally threw my DS, and it actually broke. And I was, like, crying, like, no, what did I just do? <laughs> it was crazy. Eventually, we did get it fixed, but eventually it did break again. Not by, like, you know, me breaking it because of my anger issues. It just, I don't know, just broke. And then, um, I don't remember what console came next, but... I think the um, closest console I can think of is, um, well, I mean, before that, um, I, I should mention that my Uncle Rob, um, he has a lot of SNES and NES games in, oh, and N64 games in his house. You know, he, you know, he used to be a gamer back then, he has a lot of games, um, he still likes to keep them in, like, his basement, and whenever I go over, I like to play some and see... Like, I mean, I watch the Angry Video Game Nerd, so when I see a game that he reviewed, I'm like, I instantly want to play it, see how actually bad it is. Like, um, like, um, a certain, a certain, um, one was, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, that one was really bad. I couldn't figure out how to use the phone booth thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I remember, um, well, I mean, he doesn't really play the video games anymore. You know, he has some, he has two kids now. He has a wife and two kids now. You know, so that, so that's pretty good for my uncle, and, um, yeah, I remember, um, oh yeah, I remember, um, my uncle, um, he also got me this little, um, thing, I don't remember what, I think it was called the FC Twin, yeah, and you get, you got, and he gave me some NES games, like, um, you know, Mario Bros. slash Duck Hunt, uh, Excite Bike, Mario Bros. 2, you know, some of the classics, I got to play them, I really enjoyed them, but, um, that, that FC Twin broke just recently, so I can't play it anymore, um, yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks. And then, um, I got the... And then, um, I don't... And then I got the the 3DS, which was a pretty big involvement in my life. Um, it was a pretty good one. I really enjoyed the 3DS. I mean, it was great. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, it was before the 3DS. Um, it was when I still had the Wii. I used to play the Wii constantly with my brother. Um, I remember this one day, we went to, um my mom's friend's house, and, you know, she had two kids, you know, a daughter and a son. The son was, like, 17, and Michael walked in on him playing Call of Duty, like, Call of Duty Black Ops, and he was like, whoa, what is that? Man, I really want to play that. It's like, hey, you want to play, man? It's like, yeah! And, um, that, that one moment basically took my childhood brother away from me. We used to play all the time together. I don't even remember what age he was. I think he was, like, 10 or 11. That was like um five years ago. I need to and that and that one game just took him away from me. He's like a douchebag now. He keeps playing that. He plays it nonstop. I mean, I'll tell you the games that he plays normally that I walk him walk in on him. He plays Call of Duty, anyone that I can think of. Um he plays on um, um basketball games. I know that, like, you know, the NBA championship things, I don't know. And he also um plays what was it called? Oh, uh, Wizard One O One, yeah, Wizard One O One, yeah. Okay, stop slamping down camera. And anyway, um, 
basically, um, that took it away. Um, he got the Call of Duty for the Wii, because we only had the Wii. And, like, he was like, man, the controller suck. I need the Xbox. I'm like, hey, Mom, can I have the Xbox? He was like, oh, fine, because he kept asking for it. And then on his birthday, um, my mom got him the Xbox 360. You know, and he got a couple of games. You know, we got Call of Duty. He got The Walking Dead Telltale. He got Walking Dead Survival Instinct. We were big Walking Dead fans back then. I'm actually a really big one still. I'm actually the only one who actually keeps watching it. Well, when it comes back on. I read the comics. I mean, my brother used to read the comics, but, you know, he stopped. He stopped at, like, issue 108, and then I started buying new comics. You know, I kept... You know, I keep reading them, you know. I read the first two so far, and, um... Yeah, and, you know... And, um, one thing that really interesting instead read me, I don't even, I can't speak anymore, but, um, interested me was The Walking Dead Telltale. That one blew my mind, because that was amazing. I loved that game, you know, you know, you got the Doug and Carly situation, you know, you got the Larry situation, you got a lot of situations, you got the Ben situation. Everything was great, like, you know, I remember on my first, first ever profile, you know, I'll tell you some decisions I made, like, you know, there were, um, certain decisions, like, I remember, on um, the Doug and Carly situation, I remember I saved Carly, and, um, you know, um, should I save Larry, or should I help kill Larry, um, I was like, man, Larry's a, <laughs> Larry's a douchebag, I'm gonna kill that guy, <laughs> yeah, and, um, I remember there was, um, the Ben situation, pull him up or drop him, I was like, you know what, Ben, come up, and I pulled him up, and, um, just some other situations, like the shoot Lee situation or leave him the turn. I mean, I'm, who would leave him the turn? That's a main question, man. All right, so anyway, um, those are some main decisions, you know. I just want to talk about that because it's one of my favorite games out there. I remember um, I used to watch that game constantly. And then I replayed it and made some different choices. Like, you know, um, I saved Doug instead of Carly. And um, in my opinion, I actually like Doug more than Carly now. And, um, you know, I helped, I helped save Larry... You know, normal stuff. I didn't drop Ben, though. I really like Ben, so I pulled him up again. That, that's probably one of the major decisions I never made. The drop Ben. I really like Ben's character. And, um, okay, next up, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna, um, put the Xbox Life aside and pull up the Wii. Um, the Wii U. So, remember, I got the Wii U. It was a pretty good game. Console, I meant. I got some games for it. I mean, I got, um... I got this game... I can see it right now. Um, it's a really weird game. It's the Zombie. Hold on, I'll go get it. Hold on, I'll just show you how bad, how weird it looks. I don't know if any of you guys have it, but I'm trying to get it now. Get out of the way. Ugh. Okay, this game. Well, that was a complete waste of time. And I also got um the new Super Mario Bros. U, which is a big part of my childhood still. Mario Kart 8. <laughs> and, um, Super Mario 3D World, I'm looking at them all the way over there. Splatoon, oh, that was a good one. Mario Maker, Smash Bros, uh, great ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention during the Wii part of my life, Super Smash Bros. Brawl was amazing. I never got stuck eventually, but, you know, I really love Smash Bros. I, I really like it, and, um... Um, I remember I started YouTube around the Wii part of my life, but yeah, I'll push that aside. And then eventually, um, I remember getting the, the Nintendo GameCube because I really, because I really thought, I really enjoyed the game Luigi's Mansion. I wanted to play it so bad, so I got it. Um, Luigi's Mansion is definitely top five in my opinion. Top five best games I've ever played. I, that, I love that game to, to my heart. I love the Nintendo GameCube too. Um, I got some. I got some good games. Like I mean, I got Animal Crossing. I got um, Rampage, Total Destruction, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh yeah, that one, and some other games that I forgot. And um, you know, I don't have that much. Only like four. But um, next up, um, wait, what is? It? Oh yeah, next up in my life, um, I should probably get into Steam. Um, I started getting the Steam when, um, FNAF World came out, you know, FNAF World, yeah. That's when I came on the Steam, like, Mom, I need to play this! Then eventually I started buying other games, started downloading games, like, T like TF2. I used to play it with my friend Tyler. Now I play it with my friend Keller. Um, I play Gmod, that's a pretty good one. I also play that with my friend Keller. Um, I play Gang Beasts. Well, I mean, kinda, I can't get the controls correct, um... 
And I also have um, all the Five Nights at Freddy's games so far, you know, one the, through Sister Location. I even still have FNAF World on Steam. <laughs> um, I have Left for Dead, that's definitely one of my favorites on there. And um, I have some other games that are not very important, because Steam, it's a pretty big a part of my life, but not as big. I'm not going to get onto mobile, because there's a lot of apps that I downloaded that I'm not going to talk about. I mean, I guess I'll talk about some that I currently play, like um, The Walking Dead, Road to Survival. That's a good game. Yeah, but anyway, um, I remember um, eventually my brother got an Xbox One because he was new in the system. And um, I remember begging my mom because Michael got an Xbox One. Hey, Mom, can I um, have The Walking Dead Telltale Season 1 for Xbox One and have the Season 2 one too? It's like, ugh, fine. It's like, so I got that. I remember playing it on my, on my brother's Xbox. It was a pretty good game, not gonna lie. And then eventually, um, I got my own Xbox One. So, and also, I, and I got to play that. I got some other games, like the, like the Mega Man Legacy Collection for 3DS. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Amiibos. <sighs> well, I mean, you might know about Amiibos, you know, because of that whole wall right there. I used to be a freak about Amiibos, like a freak, being like, I'm, every single time a new Amiibo comes out, I rush to my mom and be like, can I have it, please? Now I'm just like, I don't care about them anymore. Well, I mean, I guess they look cool. Yay, I guess. My mom wasted so much money on those. I have two of every single Amiibo. I even have some rare ones in the closet right there. Like, you know, some Marths, some King Deities, some other stuff. But some other stuff is like, um... I'm trying to think of some new things in my life. Oh yeah, Xbox One, I was talking about Xbox One. So I remember, um, yeah, I got The Walking Dead. No, I played that a lot. I really love, I really like The Walking Dead Telltale games, you know. Season 1, um, is probably my favorite. The Walking Dead Season 3 and New Frontier is probably my second favorite. Season 2 is my third favorite, and if you count, The Walking Dead Michonne is my fourth favorite. Which is definitely, which is basically just the last one. You know... I got some new games from now and then for the Xbox, for the Wii U. <sighs> I'm gonna say, um, video games completely changed my life, and, like, I'm one of those guys who still loves Nintendo, like, Mario Nintendo. Like, other kids my, my age would be like, ugh, you still like Mario Nintendo? Bro, get a real game, like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. I'm just like, really, bro? It's like, it's like, I'm always like, bruh. Bro, Grand Theft Auto is for kids who just try to act cool. I mean, I mean, I know kids that have Grand Theft Auto when they were like 10 years old. My mom still won't let me get that game, Grand Theft Auto. But um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, even though um, I I like the Nintendo games, and a lot of people um, like my brother, he plays Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty and stuff. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I actually played Call of Duty with my brother a lot because. In my opinion, Call of Duty is actually still a good game. Like, I mean, some of the Call of Duty games I don't really like, the, the mechanics, but some like Call of Duty Black Ops, which was some big parts of my childhood, because my brother and I played it together, are actually um, pretty good. Grand Theft Auto is... Nah, I never got a chance to play it, so I don't know. Um, there's not much to talk about of video games left. Um, maybe I'll just talk about some more stuff next to... Oh, oh yeah, I remember this one. Ugh. This was a long time ago. It was called Leapfrog. I got this thing. It was probably my first touchpad thing. I don't know. It was called Leapfrog. It was like an educational thing. It was like a 3DS, but educational. You know, you know I got some games like I Spy. Something about a circus. Something about a zoo. Something about building a tower into space. I don't know. But, you know, um... A Finance of Freddy's was also a really big part of my childhood, because, you know, I actually um, have my camera, because I'm recording on my phone, because I don't have an actual camera. I'm actually leaning on a book called Finance of Freddy's The Silver Eyes. But anyway, you know, there's a lot of things in my life that I'm really, um, Telltale is one of the best things ever, in my opinion. One of the best gaming companies, like the ones that I've actually played before, you know, The Walking Dead, pretty good game. I actually played the Telltale Jura Jurassic Park. Also pretty good game. And, um, the most recently, um, Tales from the Borderlands. Oh man, that one's great. Not as good as, the uh, um, Walking Dead, but that one, 
it's just humorous in the right direction. Seriously, if you ever um, are able to buy that, I recommend it really good. I mean, it's awesome, trust me. Humorous, serious at the same time, you know, it's great, man. <sighs> you know, that's all I'm going to talk about for now. This video's been going on way too long. <sighs> if I forgot anything that I remember, I'll just, I don't know, probably add it in the next video if I ever make one. Remember, this is my history of video games for my life up until August 21st, 2017. Alright, goodbye.